Sie haben Munition! Okay, so welcome to my support class guide. And that little bit of gameplay there you saw was me using the MG15 uh, suppressive, probably my favourite weapon in the support um, class arsenal. I'm not a big fan of playing support um, all the time. I really enjoy playing support in, in the in the modes that are <clears throat> very very objective based. So what I'm talking about here is uh, operations or rush or uh, front lines where you get a big concentration of enemy in one particular place whether you're attacking or defending which enables you to use um, your explosives and really to to choose your line of attack in terms of lying down to getting your machine gun out and killing lots of enemies um, and the MG15 is perfect for that it, I don't find the support class as effective when I'm playing things like um, Conquest which is my favorite game mode. that's why I'll play Medic or Assault um, because I feel that you tend to be engaging people much closer but for things like as I say operations rush or frontline support is is amazing as as you can see there the um, the, the uh, mortar uh, the air mortar can be very good so let's have a look at the mg15 na first so um this thing is the no reload machine basically it comes with 200 bullets it comes with 200 bullets in the magazine you never need to reload it um until you die <laughs> or uh, obviously uh, you, you put your ammo pack down and you might need some some more there um it's really good at medium range but you have to use it if you want accuracy you have to use it lying on your belly with a tripod uh, tripod um, extended you can use it up close um, and you can hit fire with it but that's not what it excels at your best bet with the MG 15 is to get yourself into a situation where you know the enemy is going to be coming to you or you need or, or you you know you flank them you lie down and you start hammering away now it will overheat after a couple of seconds so you do you can't just fire continuously all those 200 bullets but it is very 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 effective in that medium range avoid the long sight lines otherwise you'll end up you know uh, becoming a victim of snipers and medics with their rifles and short range isn't too good so you tend to be hanging back so definitely the MG15 this is my favorite uh, support weapon sidearm 1911 gadget the mortar the air powered air uh, explosive mortar incredibly effective in operations or rush or front lines where you know there's going to be a lot of enemies in, in one one situation and kind of what you saw in that, that first clip was exactly how I like to use the mortar whether attacking yeah kind of attacking or oh, defending it's kind of the same thing so you're approaching an objective you know that well there's probably going to be some enemy there so you plunk yourself down behind some cover you pop a couple of high explosives or, or mortar air um, explosive mortars on top of them and you can see them so you start doing some damage if there's lots of them grouped up you just fire 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 you don't wait for the um don't wait for the kind of the animation to finish and then you can kind of finish off by popping a couple of smoke uh, mortars either beyond the objective or on top of the objective so that your other teammates if they're trying to capture the flag are then covered from we long distance sniping apples. so air powered mortar very very effective even if you know you, you're not killing people with it but you're just injuring them it means that's going to help your players as they run up because they're going to be taking on injured enemies rather than ones at full, full health gadget 2 the ammo crate I know there's a little debate about whether you should go with ammo crate or ammo pack ammo pack you can resupply people when they're under fire and it's quick but to be honest you just end up firing ammo packs out all the time and I really like to just get close to people a group of soldiers drop down my ammo crate and they can resupply themselves they just got to stand next to it I always run with the anti-tank grenade um, uh, so I can do my bit against tanks. It's good against people as well. Um, and melee at the moment, I'm just running a knife. So that's my MG15 loadout. Half of our forces remain.
Down here. We have lost objective button. We have lost objective button. Okay, so let's 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 next have a look at my medium loadout. So this is the Ben Bene Mercier Storm. LMG um, and I like to use this LMG in, in situations where it's kind of similar to what I would use the MG15 for um, so I want to lay down accurate fire at, at medium distance but I need to be more on my feet being the storm model this thing's uh, uh, basically it doesn't have quite as much recoil so when you're standing up or you're crouching you can still get pretty accurate with it and the Ben Ben A Mercier uh, generally has less recoil than the other other LMGs anyway, so it's easier to use when you're standing up. If you can lie down and use it like that, it's very, very good. And so this is a very good machine gun at kind of that, that medium range, again, but where, where I'm a lot more active, I'm moving around more, the, the situation I'm fighting in is a lot more fluid than it would be with the MG with the MG15. And to kind of reflect that as well, instead of using the, um, the, sector. the air mortar, I'm using the high explosive crossbow launcher. Um, so again, I, I, I can... The, the big problem with the mortar is you can lay it down and then you become a very easy target for snipers or anybody really to pick you off. But sector. with the crossbow, crossbow launcher, if I get into a situation where I know there's enemies probably a little bit closer than they would be than if I was using the mortar, I can fire off a couple of uh, grenades and then get in there with the with the machine gun and doing it that way so you know mg15 for for when i know there's gonna be big groups I and mean, if i need to be a little bit more mobile a little more nimble on my feet the bene mercier storm is a, is a better weapon for that Okay, so let's look at my final selection. This is the Huo or Huot Automatic Low 8. Now, this is the level 10 support LMG, so you've got to do a bit of work before you can unlock it, but it's almost like, um, I don't know, I treat it a bit like an assault rifle, a kind of a medium range assault rifle. It's very easy to use when you're on the run. Um, you can hit fire with it a little bit. Uh, it's good for aiming down the sights. Uh, very powerful. You can compete with the assault um, with the, with the assault class, with their uh, SMGs. They're kind of medium range, not, not really up close. But definitely this puts you in a situation where you need to be running, getting where you need to be very mobile, where the situation is very, very fluid. So if, for example, I was going to play Conquest with the support, I would probably 
use this this class use the hero automatic low weight um, or if we were playing somewhere where we were inside we a lot. Um, it's a very good weapon as I said very very much the sort of thing you use when you've got to be changing direction enemies are all around you and you need to be taking them down um, and again to reflect that I'm using the high explosive crossbow launcher you could use the frag one as, as, as well um, because again if the situation is changing lots of different directions I would I would use that so um, yeah let's give it more of a go We have taken objective apples. <laughs> we are losing objective Charlie. Halte ihn im Auge! Okay, so hopefully that's given you a really good flavour of the classes that the um, final objective I like to use when I'm playing support. Uh, my favourite one, without a doubt, is running the MG15 suppressive. Uh, I love using the air mortar and then um, using the sheer firepower and endless magazine of the MG15. But again, only in situations where you really know where the enemy are and the fact that they're um, very concentrated. Um, if I'm in a more situation where I need to be moving and grooving a little bit more but I still need that sort of medium range firepower with accuracy the uh, 1909 Benet Mercier Storm is definitely one to go for but if I want to really do some damage in a kind of using an assault uh, rifle time of what type of way then the Huat automatic low weight um, combined with the crossbow launcher is a very very good piece of equipment for moving forward um, dislodging people using the, the explosive uh, crossbow launcher and obviously keeping your teammates supplied with ammo using the uh, using the ammo crate. So there we go, that's it from me. Uh, put your questions and comments down below, your ideas for what you run with support. If you enjoyed the video, hit like if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon.